Make sure you're using a proper kitchen knife like this one. Put your engine oil in every single cap under your hood. Oh, living room vibes indeed. Oh, well done. <laughs> well done. Welcome back everybody. My name is Matt and in today's long weekend extravaganza, a little camping cookout out of the Land Rover. We're currently in Lions Bay, British Columbia. We're gonna stealth camp. We're gonna have a fire. We're gonna cook maybe a little mac and cheese, although my stomach might not be happy about it. Until then, remember, get outside, go have fun, stay tuned. It's gonna be an adventure. Peace. Eww. Oh, and it's time for adventure, boy. Yes, sir. We're gonna be driving down the Sunshine Coast. She might look like a mess, but I tell ya, she cleans up real good. I'm loving this new rig. I used to have a 2008 Subaru. And I tell you, this thing's a lot better, a lot more comfy, a lot more capable, a lot more headspace. I'm six foot and a bit, six foot and a half. I say six foot one to some people, but it's not true. Yeah, this car's a whole lot better. All right, a little bit of a pit stop. We got ourselves a low engine oil, light pop up on the dashboard. First light since owning this vehicle. We're at a good old Wally Mart, AKA Walmart. I'm gonna see if I can find some oil for this thing. Go grab some supplies for some food. And have ourselves a feast tonight. Welcome to Walmart. We've got the goods. Oh yeah, she's low. So you wanna make sure that you put your engine oil in every single cap under your hood. So you got your engine oil and then you got all these other caps. You wanna make sure you fill those too because or else it's just not gonna work. Usually I like to like squirt some toothpaste in there to like really help it like get a good viscous feeling, but I don't have any, so we're just gonna have to deal with it for now. And make sure that you put this on a very sketchy area, just so it, like you don't want a nice flat surface or anything like that. Just, you know, it helps the, the oil stay active. That should do it for now. This should be good dressing for the salad that I just bought, so I'm excited for that. at our spot here, right next to Coquitlam River. We're gonna unpack, get ready, have a fun night. I'm gonna cook up because I'm hungry and I had some food in my belly. Right Put a chair here. right here, right next to uh, the spider webs. Yeah, yeah, we get the have a fire. <laughs> oh, free pallet, yep. I think that's get, meant to be. Get her drying. Yep. Maybe those people are just fishing. All right, let's set up camp. Oh wait, I'm car camping, it's already set up. Woo! She's a little nipply, gotta put on some long jongs. But you guys don't get to see that. No, no. I know the back of this car looks like a mess, but I still haven't created the perfect system here. Is it even better? I might have just found an even better spot. I'm down. All right, we're moving. Uh, 50 yards down, more room, better space, safer path. Cleaner pastures. It's gonna take us a whole 10 seconds to get there. Alrighty then. Bye bye now. Ta -ta. A little nipply out here. But we're layered up and we're good to go. Got a big one? Some fresh cedar or what? Exactly. Oh, Lee caught himself a nice big old cedar over there. Ew. Spot part two. Brandon says it's better than the first spot. A little upgrade. A little upgrade, he says. Four star to five star. Like oh, that. Lee. <laughs> no living more. Living room vibes. Oh, yeah. Oh, living room vibes indeed. Oh, well done. <laughs> well done. Room to dance. Oh, Lee. Not 
not at all. We got our firewood. We got firewood, we got our spot. Now it's time to cook up a little meal before she gets dark. We're gonna be cooking up some wraps with plant-based meat, lactose-free cheese, some peppers, and some deliciousness. Make sure you're using a proper kitchen knife like this one. And these are always little good extra vitamins. Just kidding. Ow! Ow! Oh! oh. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just Add a little bit of, a little bit of liquid to it, a little bit of substance. You may be wondering, Matt, why are you putting veggies in that order? Honestly, I just don't know how to cook. Keep in mind, no point in this video do I say I know what I'm doing, because I don't think I know what I'm doing. Ooh, get some fake cheese on there. Some sriracha mayo. Now for the taste test. Oh, it's hot. That's delicious. So if you haven't before, that's what this is. Eve's Italian veggie, plant-based, plus some of this, it's absolutely delicious. Time to set up the bed before it gets dark and so I can come back and just pass right out. Yep. That's a big water bottle causing a ruckus. Holy, he's having a time out. So my bed consists of two mattresses. It actually came with three. Whenever I want to sleep them, boom, 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 like a, almost like a twin size bed. But I decided to cut it for when I do the uh, single solo camping and it works out perfect and I'll be able to just put in the third one whenever need be. Who needs a hotel when you can car camp? And it's a little bit of a tight fit here, but it actually closes up quite nicely and it works for what I need it for. So I'm gonna enjoy uh, some of the night here. I'll get back to you guys when I'm going back to sleep. My luxurious $2.99 a night Vancouver hotel. Just kidding, it's a 2008 Land Rover LR2 or Freelander for all you UK friends out there. If you haven't done it guys, get outside. Even if you got small vehicles, it is possible to car camp Go outside in nature, feel the energy, release, let go. It's worth it. It's beautiful out here. You feel good after every weekend, highly suggest it. Gotta start the vehicle. It's about uh, past my bedtime. All right, good night, dude. See you never. Woo. All right, I got my teeth brushed. It's late. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. I'm ready for bed. Good night. I appreciate you watching this far. Peace.